This young girl suddenly started screaming and behaving irrationally in her house. He just screaming and he don't he not sick before. He don't <laughs> she was rushed to Faith and Miracle International Church by her parents during our Sunday deliverance service. And the man of God, Senior Prophet G.F. Aditubero, ministered to her and delivered her from the spirit of insanity and death. One has one to come church, oh. he just screaming and he don't he not sick before he don't know what happened. He, just he was sitting room. She was she was sitting room. I tell her make she come eat. Say she don't eat. She's not feeling fine. They shot her with arrow. Stand up, stand up now, stand up. You don't need to. So this morning she fire arrow. They fire arrow. Look at me. Look at me. And you know what? You don't offend anybody. Nobody they offend anybody. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Come back here. Come here. You devil of insanity. I command you now to come out of that body. And enter that body no more. In Jesus Christ's name. I set you free. In Jesus' name. What's your name? What's your name? Eh? Favor. Favor, you are free. Where's the mother? Oh, you're going to carry your child. He's free. She is now delivered from the spirit of insanity and death. She and her family shared their testimony to the glory of God. Land of deliverance and holiness. My name is Favor Bodovo. And here beside me is my dad and my mom. You're welcome. So what happened to you? On that Sunday morning, my mom told me that we should come and eat. I don't know what just happened to me. All my body was paining me. I was unable to breathe. What were the things you, that you were doing unconsciously that you can remember now? Like my chest. I was beating my chest that I can't breathe. After the man of God prayed for you, what happened to you? I was okay. I was able to walk. Before I was not able to walk, now I was able to walk. After the man of God prayed for you, you were able to walk. <laughs> Seeing yourself on the screen, the way you were acting, how did you feel? I was surprised. Because you never knew it happened like that that day? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Let's get to talk to mommy. Zion. Land of deliverance and holiness. I'm very, very happy. In fact, I'm, I'm the most happiest woman in the whole world right now as I'm standing here. During this holiday, she told me that she wants to go and learn fashion and design. So I said, no problem. That is how she started going to the training. So that, on Saturday, when she came back, she told me that she, all her body is paining her seriously. I said, don't worry. You will take past more. So by the time we slept she, uh, Sunday morning last week, she woke up again. She was she still complaining. Then after 30 minutes, and I told her to go. Go and take your best so that you will 
eat before we go to church. He said, Mommy, I don't know where I am. Immediately, I just look at her. I saw her sharing tears. And with the tears, he was screaming, screaming. So they said that the whole streets gathered in my house. They gathered praying for her. I was shouting, crying. I went inside. I took anointing oil. I started pouring her for hair, pouring her for mouth. She was screaming. And the breathing is not even okay. The daddy was beating the chest. Favor, calling her name. Favor. I said, God, is it doing your life? What is happening? I said, God, come and intervene. Come and, by that time, what do you know that this is not ordinary? Because she, such a thing has not happened to her before. The screaming was, she was too much. I was shouting. I said, God, have mercy on me. Let this girl receive her healing. They said we should be going to hospital. I called my husband. I said, my, let's go to church. We are going to church. God of our day once we saw him, this girl received her healing. That is how we just come here straight. By the time we enter, he was screaming that he don't even want to enter. With force, they brought him inside. Before prophets come outside, I saw her screaming. Then he asked us, what is the problem? What happened to her? Then I explained to her, that's how prophet prayed for her. And she screamed and fell down and received her healing. Come on, put those hands together for Jesus very well. That particular day it happened. How did you feel as a mother? In fact, I feel very bad. Even before I, I, have, I'm, I was having malaria before, but immediately the malaria disappeared. I don't even know where I am. See, now I didn't even feel any malaria anymore. Has something like this ever happened to her before or any of uh, your family members? Before? Not at all. So it was something strange? Yes. And then um, you said you were so assured that if you bring her to church, she will be healed. What was the basis of your assurance? I know because since I started coming this mountain, I've seen a lot of healing. I've seen miracles. Even God has healed my husband here too. God assured me that once I see the man of God, Senior Prophet Adetubero, my daughter must surely receive her healing. Well, and indeed, she received her healing. People yes. of God, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Before the man of God ministered to her, the man of God said some things. He said that it was an arrow that they shot her. And you said uh, you didn't offend anybody. The man of God even asked to tell you that you necessarily don't have to offend someone before attack That's comes. Right. How did you feel when the man of God gave you the prophecy about your daughter being, you know, attacked? Because I asked him that I did not, I did not even offend anybody. I don't know how come and this such a thing comes to my daughter. He told me that you don't need to offend someone before they can attack you. Congratulations, Ma. Uh, let's talk to Daddy because that very day we could see that Daddy was the one, you know, beating the chest, holding onto yes. her. My name is Kisley Ubodo. This is my daughter and my wife. Last Sunday, as my wife told Favor, go and take your bath. She said she's not feeling fine. That is how she started screaming. I was so surprised. I would say maybe she joked her a bit, what is going on? Because we don't want to go to church. Before I see her, I see her and say, she opened her eyes. You know, if you close her eyes, the way she breathing up and down. That's why I scream. Her mother come out for inside room. So we start to, everybody for our, comp, uh, all our labor, all of them come. So they start to, they tell us, oh yeah, take your daughter to hospital. My wife say, no, we must come this place. If you come here, our daughter will be healed. And when you came here, sir, what happened? Tell us your experience. So when pastor come out, pastor and tend to her, immediately she ha received her healing. Oh, congratulations, sir. Yes. Uh, that very day, sir, you were behind her, beating her chest, sweating profusely. How did you feel as a father seeing your daughter in such a state? That very day, I was so confused because that kind of thing never happened to her before. If uh, my VP was Hi, that very day. I just get myself now. Your wife said, oh, my lady, I left. For your own VP rose. <laughs> but to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil, here is your daughter giving the glory back to Jesus. We are going to appreciate Jesus Christ. <laughs> now let's get to talk to our sister. From that time, the man of God prayed for you. Till now, what are the changes you noticed in your body and how are you feeling currently? I'm feeling good. Before I was not able to move my neck, I was not even be able to. I was not able to carry it now. I'm able to carry it. I'm able to lift my hand and my neck. Can you move the neck now to the glory of Jesus Christ? Let's see how moving our neck. Can you move the neck again? Wow. Uh, mommy, what what can you say about the God on this mountain that He would and delivered your daughter from an attack? In fact, the God of this mountain is a big God. He's a wonderful God. He's a great God. He's a marvelous God. There is nothing that is impossible for him to do. With God, with him, nothing is impossible. 
Indeed, with God, all things are possible. Uh, bringing out that day before, during, and after our deliverance, tell us the amount you were asked to pay. We are not so to pay anything. Nothing. That means our deliverance was free of charge. Yes, because in this month, Jesus is free. Wow. So, Daddy, God has done this for you. What advice do you have for people outside, uh, you know, far and near, people seated there, even people on the prayer line to looking up to Jesus to have such a testimony like yours? They should have faith and believe Jesus Christ and God of this mountain will surely do it for them. Lastly, our sister, can you wave your hands, move your body, do everything you could not do before? Let's see you. Wow. No more attack. All right, right now, just wave your hands to Jesus Christ, the entire family, and say thank you, Jesus, for delivering our family. Thank because you, Jesus, the for delivering our family. family. Thank, thank, you, family. thank you, Jesus. Congratulations. Follow us on this page. GF at Daytoberry Ministries for more videos. You too can be healed, delivered, and blessed. Distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirits.